Hello, everyone. Wasn't sure if it's recording. It's recording. Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Coming to you from undisclosed location. I will share the location probably tomorrow or the day after, but I'm actually um, curious. You can type down in the comments down below. Where do you think I am? What country or what city? Just curious. curious. Yes, anyway, I arrived really late um, afternoon yesterday and was tired, but was also down. So was a little depressed because I feel the energy very much and it's quite a different energy here to when I was previously. But what I would like to talk to you about today, since we all know while I was busy traveling, Polish president um, went to Lviv, Lvov, as we say in Polish. And I came across the article that I would like to read to you. The link will be attached down below the video. But before I do this, I want to say that I went on um, official YouTube channel of Polish president and I scrolled through the latest videos. And I know this is not the only um, high rank official who has all the comments turned off. Also, all the likes and dislikes are turned off. We know YouTube doesn't show dislikes anymore. Who knows, maybe it's uh, the change that came after Biden was, uh, were <laughs> was showing up on YouTube. But it's not just that, it's also the number of views on the videos. So on his Instagram, you do have comments, you do have likes. Um, that trip to, to um, Lvov, to Ukraine, actually got a lot of likes. But if you go and you see other uh, posts, there is a lot of bots that are not, uh, in my opinion, they are not real people. However, that visit has a lot of likes and quite some number of comments. I think around 800 comments on Instagram, which is not like crazy a lot, considering this is president of Poland. But I think a lot of Ukrainian refugees who got uh, shelter in Poland, they appreciate what he has done. So when they have Instagram accounts, so being objective, they they hit the like because they believe in what he is doing. Um, what I think? Well, I think very much similarly to what um, Suverenny PL thinks. That's another Polish channel I watched. And that is quite interesting, that visit and the reaction from the people there, which I will get into in a second, how he was greeted there. If almost as if he is uh, having some new electorate in another country that maybe soon will, to some extent, join Poland, just my thoughts. And we will have Ukropol, Ukropol. Um, I'm gonna read this to you. There is, I think, a lot of things that might be accurate, some things maybe not, but let's see. And by the way, sorry for the lighting, guys, because I know the lighting is not the best. Might be changing the room again soon, we see. But as long as you can see some of me and hear my voice, you know that me is me. So the title of the article is Andrzej Duda, greeted by crowd in Lviv, the expert comments. It was different than it seems. And uh, as we know, on Wednesday, Andrzej Duda went to Lviv, where he met with the presidents of Ukraine and Lithuania. Polish president also spent time in Lviv Cathedral, in front of which a crowd of Ukrainians appeared. The location of people, as well as journalists who were allowed to film the course of the event, proves that it was rather not spontaneous meeting, commented security expert Marcin Samsel. Um, and down below this article, it says, it had a certain propaganda and information overtone, which was certainly noticed. Security expert, the same person, Marcin Samsel, was asked about the situation in 
Lviv by Fact, that's another um, magazine, like newspaper. According to him, the meeting in the cathedral and therefore also with the residents had to be planned in advance. It was less spontaneous than we all think. Surely everything was checked there. Perhaps for safety reasons, the participants were informed about a completely different event. I think the first throughoutly inspected the area SOP. Both Ukrainian and Polish services were prepared for such an event. They did not do it ad hoc, assessed Marcin Samsel on the basics of recordings and photos from Andrzej Duda's trip to Lviv. He added that in such a situations, security carefully checks the entire environment in which the politician is staying, including windows and roofs. If the head of security knew about any threat, if there was any likelihood that something bad would happen, then certainly President Andrzej Duda would not have gone out to the people, he continued. Um, before I go on with this article, in the uh, latest video, I think it was yesterday, Pan Andrzej Suwerenny, PL, said about how approachable Polish president was in a foreign country in comparison to how unapproachable he was, he mainly is in Poland. Um, because again, you know, it's, people are censored and they talk about it, but the, the approval that the ruling party of Poland, which president is part of, peace, law and justice, um, they don't have approval. So there is a lot of people who are, you know, saying bad words and are against that president. There are people who are for, but overall it doesn't have a lot of approval. And it looked like he's so loved and approved in Ukraine and so approachable there. However, in Poland, he's not. Um, like it's hard to get, a, that's overall the sense, right? There is, of course, some level of connecting with Polish citizens. I'm not saying there is none, but not to such an extent of being so um, warm and close like that. Just my opinion. I know some Polish will jump on me now and say, no, and, OK, I'm just saying what I think. So the location of people, as well as journalists, were allowed to film, of course, of the event shows that it was hardly a spontaneous meeting. On the other hand, it had a certain propaganda and information overtone, which was certainly noticed by the Russian services. Yeah. He added that, that expert, Marcin Samsel, added that Zelensky's visit to the front have the same tone. They are to show Russia and Putin that Ukrainians and their guests are not afraid of attacks. Well, um, I tell you, in my opinion, that um, looking at what they are doing from Polish standpoint, and I'm not an expert, I'm just uh, a person who is observing this and because I see how business oriented this is and how power driven it this is. Um, they don't want this war to end, we know this, and this might go on. I, I don't think it will go on this entire year because the country was visiting is gonna end this, right? But they will do everything from this side, especially I think Polish side to extend this because this is incredibly great business venture for them and the power grab. It's, uh, I didn't wanna watch this whole visit because uh, it equals to me extension of level of suffering of people and uh, weakening the country, Poland, that is not a strong country, it's not a rich country, uh, depriving it from the military uh, equipment and shaking the foundation of the country because economically it's not able to sustain such a number of refugees and also financial support to another country. That's my opinion. Anyway, guys, this is a little strange video maybe, but I think it's right on time with the visit. Um, I think perhaps some of those people were genuinely there 
to greet Polish president. But this is not the first time we've seen the show. We are watching a movie, right? It's all. I think a lot of it is orchestrated. A lot of it, a lot of it is staged, this planned. There is a screenplay, all of it. It's not random. And it has to create a certain emotional state in citizens from which they start to establish a certain belief system. And based on those belief systems, they take certain actions. Like, for example, you know, um, go to war, join the army, etc. Anyway, I will be back with you probably tomorrow. Um, you can type down below where you think I am. Just want to say this is also very temporary location. Definitely shorter stay than in the previous country I was in, in Russia. But I will talk to God and decide what is my next move. Lots of love, everyone. You know where to find me. Thank you so much for all the supporters on Locals and uh, Patreon as well. New video will be coming this uh, new week on Patreon. It's only put on Patreon, by the way. And yeah. The article is down below. You can translate it. And I will see you very soon, probably tomorrow. Bye, guys.